It's a lot harder to eat healthy and eat in general because of my condition. And I don't have a fake condition. I'm not gluten intolerant. If you think you're that, shut up. Okay? I don't, I don't have a fake disease. I have a real disease. I have IBS. Yeah. You know what, what is that? You know what that is? Irritable bowel syndrome with a giggle. She gets it. It's also known as IBSD, which of course is for diarrhea. Thanks so much for uh, including the worst symptom of my condition. Just put that right in the title. That was necessary. You don't do that with other diseases. Uh, what do you have? I have EDF. Oh, what's that? Erectile dysfunction with flaccidness. Uh, I, just, I just want you to know exactly what's happening in my body. The D is so unnecessary. Just, just stick to the IBS, okay? And look, I'm not a jealous person. I don't get jealous very easily. Get what you want, live your life how you want. But my friend told me a story that brought a tear literally to my eye. He told me that his morning routine was waking up, getting a bowl of cereal, watching Sports Center, doing his business, taking a shower, and he was done with pooping for the day. Oh, the jealousy that erupted from my heart. The greenness of my envy that this man can do his business, double clean in the shower, and have the confidence to go into the world and never make a mistake, oh, is a blessing that I will never know. I panic when I go to a sporting event in case lightning strikes and I gotta wait in a line. I don't have time. I'm wearing gym shorts. It's... IBS is brutal, man. And I know that the gluten intolerance, they like to argue, probably don't understand what gluten intolerant people can't have. We can't have pizza, we can't have pasta, we can't have muffins or happiness or waffles. Shut up. Do you know what people with IBS can't have? Do you? Do you? No. That's because nobody knows. Every day is just a game of digestion roulette. And there's a little goblin in my stomach that gets to pull a lever and decide whether I get to absorb the nutrients or turn my body into a water slide. <laughs> and that's as nice as I can say it. It's so frustrating. People think I have trust issues? Yeah, I've got trust issues. I haven't trusted a fart since 2005. <laughs> He's a fickle foe, man. That goblin, he'll get you. And you never know when it's gonna happen. I could eat pizza and wings, and he's pleased, no problem. Next day, nachos, what is this? <laughs> and I know you are thinking, Paul, just eat healthy, eat healthy. You don't think I've tried that? Grilled chicken salad, balsamic vinaigrette dressing, give me some real food. And even if, he, even if I eat something that it does agree with, that's no guarantee for the future. I had a delicious lasagna one time, and it pleased the goblin. So I'm like, I'm packing this up and eating it every day. The next day, mix it up, idiot. <laughs> uh, sorry you missed your flight. And just so you know, that's not a sound effect. That's the sound. Uh, I have heard it many times. The goblin makes dating tricky. Dating is hard. It's, it's not a good situation. Girls will want to do fun things like, hey, Paul, let's go to lunch and go on a hike. Ooh. Uh, lunch sounds great, but let's maybe not plan something so far away from restrooms. Let's not, let, let's not go that far. Dinner and a movie? Sure, dinner sounds great, but let's not pre-order the tickets because I got a goblin that's going to decide whether we go to the movies or watch Netflix in the bathroom. That's, that's a fork in the road. It's not fun, okay? 